If you're doing the personal histories exercise um, with your team, there's a couple things that come into play. Generally, it works very well, very naturally. One of the things we say is, you know, when we ask people to talk about the most difficult challenge of their childhood, we say not your inner childhood, but we always talk about being a kid. What was hard about being a kid? And sometimes it's we were very poor. Or we moved all the time or my father or mother died when I was young or we had a massive family in one bathroom or sometimes people say, I don't know. It seemed like I had an idyllic childhood. I don't know what my, maybe that's my problem is I didn't have any problems. You know what I mean? It's not like there's any right answer. We just want people to put out there something they struggled with because people can all relate to that. It kind of level sets. There's some people that don't like to share anything. Um, and sometimes it's because they had a really difficult thing and, and we're not asking them to, to be excessive or inappropriate if they had a really difficult situation that they're not comfortable with, but putting something out there is important. I think that when people are not comfortable sharing anything, sometimes that's an issue that maybe trust is going to be tough. Then there's those other people that want to tell you everything about their cat and the deepest, darkest secrets and their dream from last night and all that. Generally, it's good if the leader can kind of set the tone. If the leader goes first and can kind of set the tone, 99% of people are going to be completely appropriate. I think what they have to realize, it's not uncomfortable, it's very productive, and it's fast. And whenever we work with teams, we find it really does begin the process to lead into the disc when they can start talking about, now here's how my profile fits into that as well.